Thanks, Dave. If you've driven south on the Garden State Parkway over the Driscoll Bridge in the last decade, there is a good chance that you've looked down at the land near the bridge in Sayreville and wondered what exactly has been going on there. News 12 New Jersey's Brian Donahue wondered the same thing. Today, he got a rare inside look at one of the most ambitious redevelopment projects the state has ever seen. From the air and from my car passing over the Driscoll Bridge, this section of the Sayreville waterfront has looked to me in recent years like a piece of the moon crashed down in Jersey. Acre upon acre of dirt mounds, craters, and rocks. Turns out, it kind of feels like that on the ground, too. Touring it turned out to be the closest thing I've ever felt to being on a lunar rover. This is the site of an environmental cleanup and redevelopment plan massive even by Dirty Jersey standards. A plan by developer North American Properties to turn this, the former home of paint manufacturer National Lead, into this, a place called Riverton. A new town unto itself with retail, apartments, parks, a marina, theaters, and arts venues, billed as America's next great hometown. And we talk a lot about a community, building a community. We, we, this is a new community within Sayreville. All built on a spot that was once a place Toxic Avenger might have felt right at home. Uh, there's conventional contamination, which are metals, and then there's the radiological contamination. It's a massive cleanup 10 years on and counting, but the amount of work, time, and money, $2.5 billion is the estimate now, that it'll take is topped only by the opportunity. The river views are striking. It's 400 acres with its own parkway exit. The developers see people wanting to live, work, and shop here. I didn't quite see it myself until I stood here myself. There's two things that strike me walking around out here that maybe I didn't realize. One is the massive potential of this place, incredible views and the size of it, and also what a massive job, a huge undertaking this is going to be. The story of Riverton is a story about what New Jersey was and where it may be going and what it feels like in the middle. Pretty strange sometimes, pretty surreal. It's often a very fine line between acts of pure genius and sheer folly. And I feel like maybe that line runs right through the middle of this project. Let's hope that when it's all said and done, it winds up on the right side of that line. I'm Brian Donahue, that's Positively New Jersey. We shall see that cleanup included the removal of 360,000 cubic yards of soil, but it is nearing its completion. Developers say they just submitted their plans for the first session of the project, which includes a Bass Pro Shop store, to the Sayreville Planning Board for approval.